Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. Um, I'm here to share a little bit about how I bullet journal using um, using a, a travel notebook. Um, it's a full house today, so if you hear any kind of background noises, music, knocking, that's everybody's home this morning. So, um, <coughs> first of all, my bullet journal is is not pretty. Um, I have an atrocious handwriting and um, I don't use it anymore to kind of decorate and be creative in my bullet journal it's really my bullet journal is truly functional it's just a it's a functional system for me um, when I first heard of the bullet journaling and I'm sure it's been around so a lot of people have already uh, heard a lot about it but um, I'll link in the description box uh, the YouTube channel and the website Ryder Carroll is the originator of the bullet journaling and when I first discovered it I thought it was brilliant in fact I thought how come I didn't think of that so um, I'm personally I'm really organized I'm super super organized but for some reason a planner has never worked for me and I've tried I've, I've tried over and over again um, I, I like the planners I think they're they're pretty I think they're fun but every time I have tried to use a planner it would just sit and I wouldn't use it um, I use a calendar consistently and I have ever since I was a teenager and really I started with just those little I, I don't know I don't have one handy just one of those little uh, those little calendars like um, let me see if I like these like just like a little I used to use those just to record appointments and, and certain things that I was keeping track of and I've done that since I was like maybe 14 15 years old um, so I, I use a calendar consistently um, I've been bullet journaling for a little bit over a year and when I started, I started with the uh, like term, 1917. I believe that's the correct way to pronounce it. And um, I really, I like this book. This this really is my book of, of preference. I like the dimensions of this book, which is somewhere, I think it's, um, I had a little sticky, but I don't remember where I put it. It's about, I think it's about five and a half by eight. And um, I just like that surface, that, that amount of area. The, um, the dot grids, the pages are numbered. Um, I just, I really, I do like this book a lot. It lays flat. It had the little page markers. However, it's, it became too heavy and uh, cumbersome for me. It was, it was too much to put in and carry around in my purse. Um, when I first started, I also tried to be more creative in my bullet journal. You know, I would take the time to, to set up like a, a monthly spread and a tracker and, um, just try to use, I would try to be creative in, in my book. And I enjoyed doing that as I was setting up my months and my weeks. Um, however, I found that as I got busy and, you know, I had more life <laughs> and things to do that um, I didn't stay consistent with it. So, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, so I don't, I don't do that creativity part in, in this, in my bullet journal anymore. I, um, I pretty much stick to well I'll show you in a minute I kind of I cut and I paste in my um, calendars and I go from there um, I also learned I, I like the bullet journaling system because it's structured but it's flexible at the same time and you kind of you know you do what works for you as as you go along you do what works for you so I discovered that for me I needed um, I needed more carrot more 
categorization and separation of of certain things because I was doing everything in one book. I was doing my calendar, I was doing my tracker, um, I was doing my scripture writing, I was doing memory keeping and I, I you know, pictures. Um, it's my son's baptism. And that's the 4th, 4th of July from last year. So I was doing a lot. I was uh, putting my, my notes from church. I was doing everything in this one book. And I found that um, a lot of times I would set out my week and I, it's empty. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it or I would, um, I'm trying to find where in the, when I would start my month, I would allow, I was, I allotted for certain, hello. I would allot for a certain number of pages for my scripture writing within the month, but then I would go over that and ended up writing those, uh, what is it? Writing, uh, huh. I don't know where I put it. I would end up having to go over and, and I was feeling starting to write from the back. So for me, the, um, the separation of certain categories of the things that I do do, that I do do <laughs> consistently, um, works better for me so I don't use this book anymore if anyone knows I would I do I would love this dimension this size that like five and a half by eight um, in a soft cover with less pages if anybody has a book or have seen has seen a book like that please comment in the uh, comment section below so I can check it out I did find some inserts and I am currently using these field notes these field notes books um, notebooks which I, I really these have worked well for me um, they're stapled in the middle so they don't lay flat but it has the grid and it has enough surface area for me it's not as big as the five and a half by the eight so I would like something like this, like the less paid, the smaller amount of pages, um, and it's soft cover. But I would like, I would like those dimensions. They would just suit me a little bit better. So for my bullet journaling, I've separated my um, separated my book into four sections and it's my calendar and daily to do's my um my scripture writing my words and quotes my word sayings my sayings and quotes and then kind of a uh miscellaneous book and i'll go through each one in a second so as i separate it into these different notebooks i needed something to hold all my notebooks together and that's where the um the travel notebook came in to play for me. Um, I just made a simple, quick, this is not, I just made a quick one. I followed the tutorial by Bona, who is, um, what is it, Live Love Scrap here on YouTube. And I will put that link below. Um, and I just, you know, I cut up some fabric. I laminated the fabric. This was just a quick something to hold my books. It's not even the right size. It was just something functional for me to hold my notebooks together. Um, after I started this system, like very shortly after I started this system, I saw Diane, uh, I say her name wrong, Revely, Revely, Revely. She's with Ranger. Um, and it's she has a line out dilutions but then i saw her dialogue system and it was the first time i had seen anyone describe the system that that i was actually using having the separate notebooks for separate things keeping them in the in the travel notebook um you know i thought i had come up with this oh this great system that works for me but of course there's nothing new under the sun <laughs> there is nothing new under the sun so I was going to switch over to her complete system. However, the size of, of the inserts for me 
again because it's thin and I need something just a little bit wider. So I love them. You know, the, she has, she uses multimedia paper, which is another great thing I'll show in a second so that, you know, you can use the different pens. People like to use fountain pens. They, people who are actually creating in their books would use watercolors and stuff. And this is perfect because uh, it's multimedia paper. Um, it's stitched, it's stitched down the middle. It does have less pages than the Field Notes book. So I needed just a few more pages and I needed it wider. So I'm not gonna switch over to the inserts like I intended. Her travel notebook, her covers, I think are so cool. You know, they're decorated and everything. And it's made from like a canvas. I'll link below in the description um, the, uh, the first video I saw that she goes into detail about the whole dialogue system, but they come, comes packaged like that. And um, I'm gonna switch over to this one. This is a little bit wider and it's so that you can hold a number, a number of inserts. For me, this is like the best thing. The, um, these bands that she has, these rubber bands. And um, I thought this was awesome. She shows it in her video. I'm, I'm doing it here with rubber bands. I prefer her bands, but you can do this with rubber bands. So I'm gonna show you how she, um, how she shows how you can put more, more inserts. So right here, there's, there's only two but I can get six inserts in here. So what she did was, I'm gonna show you. So she took one of her, her rubber bands. I'm just using, this is literally, this is a hair band that I'm using. Um, and you can either put, this is one book, so you can put the back flap with the front flap and put your band over it so that the books, these two books are held together. I prefer, <clears throat> as does she, I prefer to put the band in the center of the book because I am very, he very heavy handed with a lot of things. So for me, putting it in the center of the book um, just gives me a little bit more security and I know my books are not going to fall out and fall apart and slip this way and that way. So I put it in the center of each book. See that? And the two books are held together. So on your one band, you can put two books instead of one because the band there holds it and then you can have two books in there instead of just putting one on your on this holder. So I'm actually switching over and I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna do that now. And then I'll go through just a little bit of, um, of my simple system and maybe give you a couple of ideas. So I have a pocket in here. I'm gonna have to put a pocket in this one and I always keep, even though I bullet journal, the thing is I make lists. I make lists for everything and I'll, I'll, get, a, I'll get around to that in a second. I'll go through each of the books, but I always keep some extra, extra little notes, little um, sticky notes. Okay, so this one has two. Did mine have two or three? Huh, mine had three, so let me see. Okay. So, I think I like it better with the three in the middle, but I'll put these two together. So I'm gonna take one of her bands and I'll show you again. I go to the center, to the center of the book and put the band on. 
and then I'll go to the center of the second book and slip it in there. So I have two books on that one band and then I can slip it into this one here. And so I have two. And I'm going to do the same thing for these other two books, these other two inserts. Use the blue. I like these colorful bands, but I wish um, it would be nice if they would just sell them in packs of just like one, one color, because I would have just bought probably all pink, all pink in a pack of all black. So that's there, and then you slip it in. Now, I'm not sure, because she showed something. She had like six. I think she had six books in hers. But I like the, the wide cover, so it covers, you know, not like my little, <laughs> my little thing. Like I said, I just threw this together quickly so that I could... Um, I would have something to hold my notebooks together. So my first one is my calendar and I just, I print these out and I forget the name right now, but when I post this, I will, um, I'll link to, to the person, there's a bullet journal, bullet journal joy, possibly. I'll link where I get these and she's generous enough to offer her calendars for free. I just, I print them out, I cut them, you know, I just cut it down to size, and I adhere it in my book. So originally, let me just show you real quick. Um, like I mentioned before, hold on. When I first started, um, I, I would put out the month. I would put out the tracker. Um, this didn't work well for me. I would also do um, weekly spreads. And like I mentioned, it, it just, for me, it just didn't work well. Um, I, I do like the monthly calendar because I can, I can look at a glance. Um, bullet journaling also, he uses um, he uses a system where you have indicators so you have like a, a key you have a key and I don't I didn't stick to this I probably still do the task to do and I do the check marks but for me I use other indicators and I didn't write out the key because for me my indicators are very personal to me so um, so I remember, I remember what my indicators are and I'll just put different markings. But this, having the month at a glance, having all the appointments and the, the things, um, things that are already scheduled, the practices, this will look a lot different once school starts. Um, it'll be a lot more full. Well, my husband's things, his tutoring sessions, his work schedule, my son's practice schedule, you know, all different things, doctor's appointments, everything. I'm able to look at it at a glance. So, I, I stick to that because that's something that I use. And then I'll do a, and this is kind of just a sample to show you. I don't normally write out week or create. I don't really write those out. Like I said, my, <laughs> my bullet journal is functional. Um, but each day I'll write out my to-dos that, um, that I, that I want to remember things that I know that I have to do. I can't, can you see it? The light is shining. So I'll write out my to-dos. Um, I'll write out anything that I, I want to try to get done throughout the week. That's not necessarily day specific, but that I want to get done throughout the week. I'll write down the same thing, things that I want to get done creatively throughout the week. Um, I'll write down the meals I try to cook um, five to six days out of the week. So I write down the meals and then on this side is what I've started to do as a tracker. So this original tracker, it didn't, it, 
it depressed me. <laughs> um, this original tracker, there are some things that I do just regularly, like water, all I drink is water. So I didn't need to put anything on here. There were other things that I wanted to do that um, if I was reading or exercising, there were certain things that I wanted to do. But when I would look at the tracker and see like so many days empty, it, you know, I felt like I, I set a goal and I didn't meet that goal. So it just, then there would be times that I wouldn't go in and, and check it off. So for me, this particular tracker didn't work. What I do now, I started, let me see if I can find an example of where I started. I started in October, um, not eating meat. So what I would do is I would write day one, no meat, and put the date. And I would continue to do that throughout the month. Now you would notice I didn't do it every day. Um, so on the days that I would not eat meat, I would write it. I would write day one, I would write the date, and then I would write no meat. This way for me, when I went back and looked, all I would see is the, um, what I'm trying to think how I'm trying to say it. Um, hold on a second. The way I'm tracking it, I would only see what I actually did. I would only see what I actually did and not how much I didn't do. So even if I didn't eat meat and it was only 10 days, I would say, wow, okay, I did 10 days out of the month where I didn't eat meat. So for, for me, I know it's a mental thing. It is a mental thing for me, but it, it kind of, that motivation helped me better than the other tracker. If I saw 10 days and then the next month I was like, well, okay, I'm going to try for 15 days. It's really, it really was a mental thing of, um, of seeing what I was able to accomplish rather than, you know, I didn't eat meat today. Oh my God. You, you know, I ate meat today. I didn't, I didn't, I only, I have 20 days where I did eat meat and 10 days where I didn't eat meat. I don't know if I'm making sense to you, but to record what I actually did is is more of a motivate more of a motivator mentally for me. So that works well for me. So whatever the whatever it is, like I have to get back into walking every day and doing three miles. So when I start, I'll put day one, I'll put the date, and I'll put three miles. And every day, every time that I do it, I track it so that I can see within a month how many days I actually did. For me that it just it just works better than setting out a tracker of all of these different things and then feeling bad when I I didn't complete them or you know I didn't I didn't do it so I'll pick one thing right now because like I said certain things I automatically do I drink water every I don't drink soda or juice all I drink is water so I don't really have to track that because I know that I drink it I use the tracker for the things that I want to start to build a habit of and I track when I actually do it um, so that's that that's this is my my monthly and this is my to do and this is how I track so that's what I use this for we um this is um, what do you call this when you future planning I don't use this often, but I like having it there and having it available just in case something comes up and I have to note something for November or I have to note something for a few months in advance. And I'll go ahead and do that. I really don't use it often, but I like to have it there. Um, we go by the school system. So um, I print out the school calendar and I cut and paste that so that I can see the, uh, the days that the, the kids are off. Uh, my husband happens to work in the same school system that the children go to, so I get to see what his, you know, schedule is like, the holidays, and so I keep this because we tend to, um, we follow that calendar, we follow the school calendar. Anybody that has kids, it's a good idea too, this way you can just keep this calendar with your, your regular calendar 
to keep track of the um, you know the days off the holidays and um, early release days things like that so we keep I keep that then I have my monthly I do my kind of day-to-day future planning um, my daughter-in-law is in another is she's in a different uh, school system so I have her calendar there so that's what I do with my calendars um, I write scriptures regularly so I have a separate notebook for my scripture writing for the scriptures that um, stand out to me when I read them and something that I you know if I want to remember I also though I write my scriptures on these little Rolodex cards as well because every now and again when I am in the middle of <laughs> if I'm waiting or I'm in the middle of a situation or I'm in a particularly stressful situation I'll pull out these Rolodex cards and I'll just I'll just start you know reading off I'll re start reading them reading them reading them for me it helps me to put my mind on the word to be honest with you it takes my mind off of whatever that stressful situation is and it causes me to focus on reading what I have written down um, I pray and um, the, the action of getting out the index card, reading it and, you know, flipping it. And it kind of, for me, it helps take my mind off of whatever is the situation that's especially stressful for me. <sighs> All right. I just realized I'm at 26 minutes already. Okay. So this here is just, um, <laughs> my husband, my husband said to me, he described, uh, he described it this way. He said, for as long as I've known you, you've been a keeper of words and records. And that is, that's what I do. It helps me to stay organized. It helps me to get things kind of out of my mind um, and more focused and more efficient. So this is just, I, it's a list of uh, quotes, quotes and different sayings or something I may have thought of and um, I'll write it down in this book. I'm gonna start doing what Diane, uh, Rev is it Reveille or Reveille? Reveille, I have to find out how to pronounce her name. And she kind of uses different colored pens each time she writes a, a, a new one, which I thought was a good idea. But um, yeah, I've done that since forever. So again, this is very functional for me. It's, it's simple and um, being as organized as I am, it just helps me to stay efficient. Uh, these little tabs here, I used to use washi tape. I would use washi tape to put like little flags and um, tabs. I did have some, I think I pulled them out. So I would, those would be my indicators when I just wanted to turn straight to my, to a certain page, normally that um, whatever month I'm in, the calendar. But then I found these at um, I found these at Walmart and I love these these ultra tabs work really really good um, I don't keep an index in my bullet journal I just I didn't find a use for it but you know I'll tend to go to the month that I'm in within that month and it's just easier or if I write something down in a certain certain place that I want to remember I can put that tab and just go straight straight to that page without having to flip through everything um this the my miscellaneous book is pretty much like i i said a thousand times i am a list keeper and i kind of i keep lists for everything and when i say everything i mean everything like i do my to-do list i do my list of things that i've already done just to kind of see where i'm at I do wish lists. I write down lists for things that I want to remember. I do lists for books that I want to read, uh, music, movies to watch. I do lists for ongoing projects, um, like the ongoing things in my home that I kind of I need to remember or or keep track of. Um, I do lists for creative projects. I I make lists. I make lists for everything. Um, I'm st I do creative things too, but I'm separating, I'm starting to separate that and have a separate book for my creative stuff, my swaps, uh, happy mail, the people um, I'm connecting with and building friendships with on YouTube, um, 
the YouTube videos, the blog that I'm starting. So I have a separate book for that and I do have a separate book for finances that I might do another video on, um, a, just a brief video. So these travel notebooks, they, they work so well. I think this, this system allows me to bullet journal, which works well for me. It, I can keep track of all of my, my lists and the things that I'm doing. Um, but I, I especially love this system because I can separate. I can separate the different areas. The smaller books make it lighter. It's, it makes it lighter. I can switch out um, a certain category or a book. I can switch out a portion at a time. Um, or I can further customize if I need to add you know, another section for something else that I do regularly. Um, it's, it's super, for me, it's super structured and it's flexible at the same time. And so I really, I really, really, really love this system because it helps me. It has helped me to stay efficient. Um, this miscellaneous book is also like for brain dumps, you know, things like that. Okay, one last thing, one last thing. So the paper in these field notes books, I, like I said, I was going to switch to the complete uh, dialogue system. I tested out all of these pens on, on this paper, which I, I didn't even realize. And I was about to say, and girl, <laughs> let me tell you, um, this is really good paper. So now you can see some ghosting, but I was writing hard and, you know, pressing down deliberately on purpose. It didn't, ble didn't bleed through to the other paper, but you can see some ghosting. This, I don't even use these in here. I just went bananas and started using everything that I had available. These are those uh, Spectrum Noir um, alcohol markers, which I wouldn't use in here anyway. That one is what bled through the most. Um, the Tim Holtz distress marker. Okay, so this was a kind of a cool surprise for me because I did realize that the tip was so fine, um, but I hadn't really written with it, and I like it. I like it. Um, I do not have a good handwriting. My handwriting is atrocious. This looks presentable, but it took me a very long time and I had to write slowly. So for me, a 0.3 or a 0.5 works the best because the thinner, the, uh, the finer the tip, the better, um, the neater I can keep my journal. So I use these juice, these juice up 0.3s. Um, the Paper Mate Ink Joy, I, I did that too on purpose. I was che checking smudging, but I deliberately didn't wait. I, that was, I wrote it and smudged it on purpose instead of giving it a couple seconds to, um, like just a couple seconds to dry. I really like these Paper Mate Ink Joys and I didn't realize I had a whole set of them. However, the 0.5 for me, it's a finer tip. I like the 0.5 better than the 0.7. Uh, the midliners are a, they're um, highlighters. And I really like these and I ordered them online. I really, I like the colors. I like the way they highlight. Although I don't do that much often in, um, in my book. So that was, that's the highlighter there. Um, the Statler and the Sharpie Fine Points. Let's see. I don't know where I put it. I think it's these, the Sharpie. Actually, this is not the Sharpie. There's another Fine Point Sharpie that I used. It's the Ultra Fine. I like, I like these as well. They write well, but I don't really use those type of markers. I think if I'm going to, um, this was another surprise for me. The Memento markers, which I, I have, this fine tip was really nice to write with. So if I'm going to use color, I think, um, what I put it, I'll, I'll use the Memento and the Distress markers if I'm looking for other colors. I love my gel pens. These are the, the Sergeant gel pens and I have like glitter this says metallic but it's the um 
it's not metallic it's the I can't think of the word uh geez I can't think of it neon these are the neon pens um this again was awesome for me I bought a pack of these and in the original I don't know what book I was using I had a different book and they're very juicy these pens are super juicy so when I would use them it would bleed through but on this paper this field notes paper it didn't it did you barely see any ghosting so this one is another one these are a little bit pricey though um and I think I got them, it was either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but of course I used a 50% off coupon when I got these. So the Micron um, 05s are really good. Um, so then I tried the Tombow markers, which again, this is good, but I, I colored really hard. To, and it didn't bleed all the way through. There is ghosting, but again, because I was deliberately coloring really, really hard. And then the Dilutions paint pen, it didn't go through at all these little paint pens so for me my favorites are um the fine of the tip but three or five is the best for me so i like this the pilot juice juice up it's called juice up the paper mate ink joy in the 05 um the distress marker the fine tip side of the distress marker and the uh, the fine tip side of the memento markers were awesome, and then my microns. Those are those are for just like regular everyday writing. Those are my choices, and um, I just thought it was really cool that this the field notes paper held up. Um, like I said, for me, I just need I need it to be a little bit wider. So that's enough of my chit chat on my little bullet journal travel notebook system i hope that um i was able to give you some food for thought and maybe a little bit of inspiration um to try you know to try travel notebooks because you can use them for anything and i was one of those people thinking you know what would i use it for you can use a travel notebook for anything and i especially love the combination of that with bullet journaling so hopefully this gave you you know a little bit of a different perspective thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you again soon bye